What's up enthusiasts? I got a package in by surprise from Australia. I'm so excited, I'm kind of giddy about this. I didn't even bother sitting down, so let's just let's just roll that slow motion footage. All right, I finally calmed down a little bit because it was definitely a little bit uh, overwhelming. This is, in fact, a entire Mazo factory setup. It's a triple mag pouch chest rig with his tri-glide shoulder pads and three additional mag pouches that can be removed and put on other gear on front of this. And to top that off, he added in a grenade pouch that I've actually wanted for a long time and I have plans for in some other videos and things I have planned in the future, and a nice Velcro patch spot on the front here as well that can be removed. A lot of this can be taken off via his Molly tab setup here that uses a little like pull tab here to push things back through and down under, uh, which is just awesome. I, I don't want to call this a review. Uh, actually, before I even get into that, I sh I sh just thank you. Uh, thank you for saying this is... Like I said, unexpected. Uh, I got a message from Mazo Factory on Instagram saying I should check my P.O. box. So I went out, grabbed it, and was surprised I had a, pat a parcel from him. And I popped it open expecting, I, I don't know what I was expecting, honestly, but it was not all of this. This is excessive. I am not deserving of this. This is magnificent. It's fabulous. I love it. And we're going to talk about it because I ran into the game last weekend as soon as I got it. It's just like, oh, I know what I'm wearing this weekend. So, yeah, I, I don't want to call this a review um, because it's probably going to be me gushing about this and how awesome it is. Um, it, now, I know he wasn't expecting me to do a video. There was no no expectations for anything. In fact, there's a, um, a message on the, the note that he sent me just, Hey, Jangular, really appreciate your generous community centric contributions to the hobby. I wanted to make you some gear to say thanks. Uh, uh thank you. I, I mean, I know I, I, I said this over and over in message the messages with you after receiving this, but I, I mean, this is way too much. This is so above and beyond and far and away one of the coolest things I've ever received. Um, to have customized gear that someone... Just, just to give you an idea, when we were talking, he said he put blue on these the pull tabs only because he thought I was probably going to be running a lot of these. And so the blue from these would help match up with the rest. He went and did research he invested time not only into the creation, but into the research of what I like to run and how to match my color. Like, it was amazing. I just, I, I still, it's days later and I'm still just like flabbergasted at, at this. His build quality, uh, you see people talking about it all over the place. The people that have Mazo Factory gear and, and, you know, how the quality is there and it's really top notch. And it is. I've got Limey Tactical gear. Like, before this, to me, was the highest quality gear in terms of the fabric choices, the stitching, all the, the build quality stuff. This is right there. This is, if not more sturdy feeling and more well-built than even that. Um, it's just so... It's so nice. It feels so... And, this isn't a knock at other companies because other companies you've got like Blastersmiths UK and they fill this awesome niche of gear that's durable and affordable. So they, they don't go for the highest, highest end of everything. They test and test and test to have stuff that's durable and will last you at an affordable price point to find that balance. This is high quality. This is high end. And this, uh, 
I'm kind of in love with. Like, he takes the extra step, so when you pull a mag out, the slot retains its its shape. I'm trying to get that in there. Like, it retains its shape, so you don't need to, like, pull the pouch open. You just put the mag back in. And that's, like, one of my favorite things. I love that. I absolutely love that. Like, it's all just... It just stays. I don't think I need these tabs. I ran them with these tabs for a couple games uh, over the weekend. Then I pulled them off and had no issues. Uh, It's... Like... It's not going anywhere. So, I think I'm actually going to pull these tabs off, which you can do, thankfully, because he provides the back end. You can pop things off and and customize it the way you want it to. You can customize where the straps sit in various places. He's got like three three different adjustment points on each shoulder strap. Um, It just... Like I said, this is ner- this is more just me gushing about this because this is one of the coolest things I have ever received. Um, it's just uh, this is just a big thank you, essentially, because this is crazy and I love it, and uh, I can't wait to even when I'm not using this chest rig to take the mag pouches off and drop them on other gear when I want to run more mags on them. This is actually something I know I've talked a lot in the past about my switch to back mounted stuff and one of my other loadouts for 5v5 games and how I want to get stuff away from my body. This is lightweight enough that if you don't like back mounting, if you just wanted to run a three rig, a three, uh, three mag rig, this is close enough to the body and tight enough that it's not going to obstruct that I'm honestly considering running it in a 5v5 game to test out. Um, other pouch based things I wouldn't really think of, but because this works without this retention system i'm i'm very tempted and it it's just so nice i don't know i i think i think this is just such quality builds the fact that he took the time to go ahead and put in all the inserts to keep the mag pouches open and the stitching is nice The build quality, just everything looks finished. All the edges are finished. I'm sorry, I'm staring down at this off camera because I'm just so like, it's good quality. It's not cheap. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not cheap. Um, If you want something high end, this is a good place to look. Mazda Factory is a good place to look. If you want something affordable and durable, there are other options for sure. And I love that. I love, you know, I like options. So I love that there are not only affordable options, but high-end options as well for people that want to invest in a piece of gear. I feel like this, I feel like I'm going to have this for a long time and I'm going to wear this for a long time. And that excites me. So I'm going to end this gush fest. This is not an in-depth comprehensive review of this gear. This is, this is by no means that, um, I just wanted to make a video about one of the coolest things I have ever received and, uh, how amazingly nice this community is. I am constantly surprised and appreciative of how generous and nice the people I meet in this community are. And they do things for others that just, it blows my mind. And it makes me so happy to be a part of this community. Um, I, I, like I said, by no means do I deserve this, but I will love this. I will cherish this. Thank you so much for this. And I, uh, I can't wait to use it again. So I'm going to have links down below, of course, to Mazo Factory. Uh, if you want to check them out, you know, they've got their shop. They've got the Instagram that shows off what they make. Uh, just check it out if you didn't already know about this company and thank you thank you again so much this is uh beyond cool and i am super happy super super if you couldn't tell i'm enjoying it so thank you i'm I'm gonna go and cut this off now but if you enjoyed the video if you're new to the channel and you like seeing gear you like hearing about nerf news you like seeing gameplay videos hit that subscribe button if you want more in the future and let me know what you thought of this of this fabulous piece of gear 
in the comments. Let me know what you think about Mazo Factory in general or the gear industry in, in general for the Nerf community as it's continuing to grow. I love having conversations down in the comments and hearing from all of you. So let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.